Hi, Unbeatable Recap here. Today, I am going to explain, a horror thriller movie, named, 3AM. In the beginning of the movie, we see a boy named Todd, who used to work in the morgue. And he had to take care of the dead couple, Sherry and Mike, in a house. In fact, both of them died only after one week of their marriage. Now according to the ritual, Todd had to take good care, of the dead bodies of both of them. And before their funeral, they had to be decorated, and prepared food of their choice, and offered to their bodies. He was about to start his work, when suddenly he heard some sound from the coffin of the couple. When he is in the room, he sees that a lizard is entering Cherry's coffin. And after that, as soon as he opens the cover of the coffin to let the lizard out, he is stunned to see the beauty of the cherry. He starts putting his hand in Cherry's cloth, to get the lizard out, but then, Mike's coffin also suddenly opens. Seeing this, Todd's condition had become very bad, he left the lizard, and shuts it down. Now at night, the eyes of Todd fall on the draw of the table lying nearby. When he opens it, he finds a bag out of it, in which there was a camera, CD, and a piece of glass showpiece. Now while opening the bag, a piece of showpiece falls under the bed from Todd's hand, but as Todd puts his hand under the bed to lift it, that showpiece disappears automatically. Todd thinks that maybe that piece has gone too low, that's why he tries to play the CD found from the bag. But unfortunately, that CD did not play. Now he checks the camera, which had pictures of Sherry and Mike's engagement. As he scrolls through the picture, he suddenly gets a big shock, as his engagement photos were followed by photos of Cherry, in which she was very nervous, and in some photos, her hands were tied. Seeing this, Todd understood that, he used to torture Cherry very much, after that, he used to click her pictures too. Right now he was understanding everything, that's when, he finds a thread hanging on the handle of his door. Following whom, he reaches Cherie's room. There he sees the spirit of Cherry, who is calling him to her. But as soon as Todd moves his hand, Mike comes from behind, takes Cherry from there, and tells Todd to get out of there. Then suddenly Todd's eyes open, and we come to know that, it was a dream. But as soon as he wakes up, tomorrow video starts playing on his own, in which, Mike was tying Cherry's hands and feet. Seeing this, Todd thinks that, how can someone torture such a beautiful girl? After this, he angrily goes straight to the coffin room, where Cherry's coffin cover was open, and the position of her body was also changed. Todd thinks that, Mike's spirit continues to hurt Cherry, even after he dies. He immediately takes Mike's coffin to another room, and keeps it tied with holy thread. After this he goes to Cherie's dead body, and gets physical with a dead corpse, and after the, T slowly starts spending time with her. After this, one day when he was sleeping with Cherry dead body, only then he has a sound from Mike's coffin. Now when he gets up and goes to check, he sees that Mike's body was missing from there. Todd gets very nervous, and immediately runs to his room, where Cherie's body was also missing. At the same time, a hand comes from under the bed and pulls Todd down, but somehow Todd comes out. And he comes to the same place in the room, where Mike's dead body was lying. He was very much scared, but then he gets a vision, and here a big twist opens in front of all of us. Actually Mike used to torture Cherry, rather he used to tie Cherry, because Sherry had suicide attendants, due to this, she used to try to kill herself. But one day, Mike's heart is disturbed by Cherie's repeated pleas, and he opens her ropes, Cherry takes advantage of this, and tries to kill herself by breaking a showpiece. But when Mike tries to stop her, Sherry slits his throat and then kills herself. At the same time, Todd hears the voice of Cherry, and her spirit comes to the Todd and starts kissing him, for which Todd faints. And when he opens his eyes, he finds himself in Cherry's coffin. He pleads a lot, but Cherry's spirit is sitting on that coffin. This is the result, when you make relationship with a dead body. Right now, our screen gets blackout on this, and the movie shifts towards another story. Where we see an old man, cutting the hair of a dead girl. But as soon as that man leaves there, the eyes of the corpse automatically open. After that, the screen is cut and goes to a wig shop, where we see two sisters Mint and May, whose parents had gone on vacation, and it was a matter of fact that she was handling their wig shop. On the same day, 
a woman comes and sells good quality hair to May, whose May was supposed to make a wig, but May had no idea, that these hairs had come out of the corpse. Then the camera shifts to a newspaper, where we see the dead body of the same old man, who had cut the hair of the dead girl. Here May starts the process of making the wig, by washing those hairs. But while she was still working, we see an unknown hand behind her, and as soon as May turns back, that hand automatically disappears. Now after this in the middle of the night, Mint comes with her friends, whose plan was to stay here today and have a party. They all go to the terrace and enjoy, but then a friend of Mint picks up the same wig, and he starts having fun with her. But May gets very angry seeing all this, and she tells him to keep the same wig in its place. Then when the boy goes to keep the wig down, only then two hands come out of the same wig, and with his shout the camera shifts over Mint and May, who runs down after listening to his shout, and when they reaches down, then they see the cut head of the same friend. Now the condition of all the people there had become very bad. Then they see the ghost of a girl there, fearing that. Everyone starts trying to open the shutter of the shop, but in a hurry, the key breaks from them. At which point, a friend of Mint goes to find some metal thing inside to break the lock, but suddenly, it seems smooth, and when the rest of the friends reach there, they are shocked, because the ghost's hand from that girl's stomach turns out, which controls her and starts slamming her, due to which she dies right there. Seeing this, everyone's air was tight, that's why the remaining people start running upstairs, but at the same time, Mint's friend also gets separated from them and reaches the area, where all the wigs were kept. At the same time, suddenly that ghost comes in front of him, and scares him, due to which he falls on the board of a fork lying nearby, and he also dies there. Now only May and Mint were left, who were very frightened to see that boy's body, and run away to another room, where that ghost also tried to dissolve May by locking her in a thermal chamber. Mint tries hard to open the door, but she failed to open the door. But inside the temperature rises so much, that the glass of the chamber breaks on its own, due to which the mint also falls away, but May is not visible to us anywhere. Now the next morning after hearing the voice of her father and mother, Mint's eyes open, she tries to tell everything after seeing her parents, but her parents do not pay attention to her words. And we are shown that Mint had a glass inside his stomach. Actually, he died last night due to the glass. Here May hugs her parents, when the camera shifts towards May, we see that that soul has poses on May. After this, the screen blackout, and with it our movie shifts to the third story. Where we see an office, in which a transgender lady was chatting with people on Facebook, under the pretext of overtime. Then other employees start going towards their house. They were waiting for the lift, when they got a voice comes from behind. As soon as they look back, they see someone's severed head, and those people get so scared that they run away from the stairs. As soon as they leave, all the stuff in the office starts moving on its own, due to which, that transgender staff also runs away from there in fear. As soon as he leaves his office, two people get down from the table with the remote from below. And we get to know that, both of them were the bosses of the office, and both of them used to prank their colleagues to scare them. Both of them were laughing seeing the condition of their colleagues. After that, one of the two bosses starts going to get food, only then the employees tries to scare him by pranking. But the boss easily understands and raids them. Forcibly both of them come forward, and say that both of them had come back to complete the documents of the meetings. Both of those bosses do not stop here, and start intimidating them by pranking them to die in front of them. Now both of those employees had not to take the responsibility of killing their boss, and those poor employees go away in fear. After which, both those shameless bosses start laughing. Now it was late night, that's why they also start leaving the office after wrapping their pranks. As soon as they both enter the lift, coincidentally they also get their employees. They both go inside, but then the security guard calls and he says, that they have found the dead body of their employee. Hearing this, both the boss's senses fly away. And from a vision, they came to know that, when they were running away in fear from the prank of both of them for the first time, suddenly their feet slipped from the sides and fell, due to which they had died. Now both of those bosses understand that the one who is with them right now is not their employees, but ghosts. Now you and we know, who is going to prank with whom? And this movie ends here.